What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo. This is my channel, Mo Nation. So in this video, we're gonna go over, oh, not over here, right here. Okay, so we're gonna go over the chemicals that I use, what I use them for, um, and I'm gonna try to show y'all every single chemical uh, product that I have. Now, let me say this. This is probably the last and only time y'all gonna make a video like this. I've made like one or two before, but I decided I don't, these people don't pay me to, and I'm basically advertising their products for free. Nothing against superior products or any other product that I'm gonna show. It's just that, hey, they spend thousands and millions probably of dollars a year on advertisement, and you have a person like me who has a small following that could influence somebody who watched me to use their product, and I don't get anything from that. So uh, that is the reason why I take the labels off um, on TikTok. I don't show any type of labels or nothing. I try not to. Everything is in its own bottle. Nothing has the, like I said, nothing ha has the name on it. But obviously in the garage, it does and stuff, some of it. So I have chemicals at the bottom right here and then I have my main chemicals over here and we're gonna get into that right now. So I'm trying to do this in one take. Um, first, let me say this. Um, I'm just the type of person where I try to keep it pretty simple when it comes to certain things. So like, I don't like using too many polishes and compounds and uh, all these different chemicals, turtle wags, superior products, Meguiar's, Griot's and all that stuff. I don't buy all those extra stuff. I, I have one company that I get most of my stuff through. It works. And that's it. I, I like to keep it pretty simple. I try not to make it complicated, like I said, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the one gallon stuff. All right, let's start. So this is all my one gallon stuff, okay? Well, y'all gonna see most of these products are superior products. It's a good company. They just don't be like, they don't really work with influencers or creators like that. They don't really be, they kind of really don't be caring about us, but I feel like a lot more people would probably use them if they did, but that's just my own opinion. First off we have right here is a leather cleaner. I use this obviously for leather seats. Now I don't use this all the time. I only use this with my full interior deep cleaning when I'm trying, uh, deep cleaning, well same thing. Full interior deep cleaning, um, that's the only time I use the leather cleaner. So if I'm doing steam cleaner or anything like that, they have leather seats. This is my dedicated leather cleaner that I use and then I put conditioner on it or whatever, right? So if I'm not using, if, if it's just a basic cleaning, I use all purpose cleaner. This is gonna do, this does a, a better job in my opinion. And I feel like it leaves a little protection behind. I, whenever I use this, the seats tend to feel a, like softer. If that's, I don't know, maybe it's just me. So let's move on. Okay, so this is gonna be my iron, my iron decon purple prep. Um, that's what that is for right here. So this is for waxes, you know, decontamination basically. All right, so this is show car shine as y'all can see. This right here. Now other people use it for whatever they use it for. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I use this for. I use this, I call it my cleaner wax. That's what I call it. Uh, so basically, basically I use this if I have any like smudges on the paint uh, on the wheels or anything like that. It's real good for stuff like that. Um, I just spray it on there and wipe it off yeah, and that, call that a day. I, that's why I call it my cleaner wax. So this is after I finish the whole car and they may have a little bit on the, like I said, on the body or somewhere that I just need to wipe up real quick. Um, I'm, I use this, I don't use it all the time, but it may be once a day on each detail. I don't know. I don't use it on the full car. It is a spray wax and you can use it on the full car, but I don't. Now this is formula floor. This is a dry and aid and a spray wax. So this is what I put into my, um, I put this into a foam cannon on its own. I dilute it, I think it's like four to one or 10 to one or something like that. I think it's 10 to one. Um, and then I pour it in a foam cannon. And then once I finish rinsing the car down, after I wash it, rinse it down, I spray this on it. This is gonna make the water bead. Um, and it's gonna give you enough time to 
dry one side of the car and it come back and dry the other side. So it's, it's gonna help prevent water spots and stuff like that. So all these products you're gonna see, do your own research on them. I'm gonna tell y'all what I use them for, but I really like this. Um, I always just buy a gallon because just one gallon of this will last a long time. All right. This is what I use for tire shine, aqua gloss. So for me, what I do is um, I dilute it. I don't have like a set, like 10 to one, four to one. Every 250 milliliters to 100 milliliters of water. So uh, 500 milliliters of this, and I put 200 milliliters of water and that's how I dilute it. I dilute it that way because I use it in a spray gun and it's a little too thick for the spray gun. So you gotta make it a little thin, but not too much. Cause if you make it too thin, then it's gonna have like a matte satin type look to it. So um, that's why I diluted two, 250 to 100 milliliters of water. And it still gives that good shine. And then later on it dries. It still looks like give that wet look. So yeah, that's what I use. Leather lotion, let's talk about this, right? So for me, this is just my opinion. Um, I just, this is my first time buying a gallon of this. This is gonna last a long time. Normally, I just buy a little bottle like this and that lasts me about a month and a half, probably. Um, this is what I use for, for conditioning, leather conditioner. This is my leather conditioner, like I said. Um, this, now you can use this on leather and you can use this on vinyl. And the reason why I got this is because a lot of the leather that, that some of these cars have, I just don't believe that it's actually leather. It's probably just vinyl or whatever. I don't know. So you can use it on either or. You can you can put these on. You can put this on the door panels. You can put this on the dash, whatever. So that's why I, I, I like this. It's, it's a conditioner, dash, uh, interior dressing type of thing, right? Okay, well, let's talk about this. Wireless wash and wax from Superior Products. So obviously it's a wireless wash. I don't use it for that. I use it for the door jams. So y'all don't, the reason why I use this for the door jams is because door jams tend to get like real dirty and dusty or whatever. And this stuff, you spray it on there and it'll wipe up real good, gives it a nice shine. Now I used to use Shokar Shine for that, but it just don't do the same as this. This, you spray it on and you wipe it in one direction and it picks up all that dirt and dust and leaves it looking clean. Now this also, I don't know if they, made it like that, but if you say wash a car, and sometimes I miss a bug or two. Then I look, I'm like, damn, there's a bug right here. I need to take it off, right? Splat it on there. I'll spray some of this on there and, wi and, it'll, and it'll wipe right off. No issues at all, don't leave no scratches or nothing. So um, sometimes I may use this as like a, as a cleaner, as a cleaner type um, chemical or whatever. Um, I don't use this right here. This is super shine. This is an interior dressing and tire shine. Uh, I bought this, as y'all can see, it's too watery for me. I bought this and that's it, that's all I use. That's, I got a lot left. I don't, I, I, I didn't really like this. I wasn't impressed by this. So this stays in the back. This is some stuff that I just got from Auto Bright. I don't even, I'm not gonna ever use that. And then this is what I use for my all purpose cleaner, my APC, um, it's Pink Perfection. So. This, I, dil I used to dilute it 16 to one. Now I dilute it 10 to one and it works perfectly fine. It sets up and all that good stuff. Um, no issues, right? None at all. So this is what I use. One gallon lasts me, maybe two or three months, one gallon will last me. So um, I take this, I forgot how much it is, but I make a five gallon thing, which we're about to get on to for that. So let me put all this back and then we're gonna get on to the rest of the stuff. All right, let's go up here. This is some Formula 4. So it's already pre-diluted. And then once I run out of it in my spray, my um, foam cannon, I just put some more up in there. This is what I use for carpets and seats. Uh, Flex Citrus and Flex Ice. Uh, this is the pre, this is the pre-spray and this is what goes in the, in the uh, extraction. So that's what I use right here. Um, this will last a long time, I ain't even gonna lie. Now for both of them together, it's about a hundred bucks. But like I said, you'll get your money worth because it's gonna last a long time. And then right here, so this is my interior dressing. As y'all see, it says cover all interior dressing. Now all this is, is aqua gloss. It's aqua gloss diluted 10 to one, not 10 to one. It's diluted one to one. Now some people say it's diluted 
other ways, whatever that I, I heard in the video, uh, she had said one to one, but I don't really care. But I just buy this like this. I could dilute it myself, but I don't want to. Uh, these are like seven bucks. I buy those. It lasts me a good little minute. Um, this is what I use for, like I said, door panels, the dash, other little pieces and stuff like that. I'll, I'll, I'll put that on there. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the five gallon stuff because you're probably confused. So all these right here are the ones that I picked up and I made these myself. Not the chemical, but I made them like a little storage thing. So we're gonna start up here. This one um, I put, so one scoop of this will make five gallons. This holds five gallons. So I take one scoop of this, put it in here, put some water and I have five gallons for the extractor and stuff. So what I do is I keep an extra one on the shelf and I keep one inside the van. So when the one inside the van is uh, out, I switch them out. So I, I'll take this one, put it in the van, take the old jug out, refill it and put it back on the shelf. Now this right here is supposed to be clay bar, uh, clay bar loop, which is O and R that I had, but I just feel, I, I don't know. I feel like I didn't dilute something right. That's what I feel like. So I stopped using this, but I gotta, I'm gonna I'm a reuse, start using it again. So right now it just has a little bit of clay lube up in there. And this right here is Cherry Foam by Superior Products. Y'all can't see, but this is soap. Um, I use this to put in my buckets. I use this as foam to foam down the vehicle and all that good stuff. That's five gallons. It's not diluted or anything. Um, what I do is, so since I use this so much, I decided to buy a five gallon jug, right? And so I have a gallon inside the van. Once I'm out of the gallon, I just take that jug, I come right here and I, I fill it up. That's what I do. Right here is Clearview by Superior Products. This is glass cleaner, um, nothing too special. I'm actually almost out. I got about a gallon left. Right here is um, wheel wire, wire wheel by Superior Products is acid. So this is an acid wheel cleaner, which I actually have back here. This is aluminum. And then this is, okay, that's aluminum brightener. And then that is a wire wheel cleaner right there. That's the acid. So I keep that back there because I, I use this, I actually use this pretty often, more than what I thought I was gonna use it. Right here we have Dark Fury again. So we have Dark Fury. This is already diluted four to one, ready to use. So I keep about, a gallon in the van um i keep a gallon in the van and then when i when i run it low or whatever i come and i fill this up right here and that way i don't have to do any mixing this right here is the pre-spray for the seats and carpet uh, which is the flex citrus um nothing too crazy it's already diluted so same thing i keep a gallon inside the van when i need to fill it up some more i come right here and i just fill it up whenever it's out when either one of these are out I put whatever I gotta put in, put some water, shake it up, put it back on the shelf. Right here, because I use Dark Fury so often, whew, I decided to go ahead and just buy a five gallon. So this is not diluted. It needs to be di um, it needs to be diluted, but not in this. So um, what I'm gonna do is once I'm out of this right here, I'm gonna put a gallon of this in like a jug or something, pour it in here, and then mix it and that call that a day pretty much. Um, and that's it for my five gallon stuff right here. All right, so all the all of these right here are just like, these are just ran, not random, but like just small stuff. So this is like some heavy duty soap I got from a local detail place here. Um, it works all right, but I feel like it doesn't work that good as like a strip wash. That's what I bought it for, um, but it works pretty decent. Right here is a, this is a compound clear cut by Carpro. Uh, this is what I use as a sealant right here, ceramic three in one, Rios. And then this is actually a one year uh, graphene coating up in here. I just took it out of the other bottle. Um, this is HD speed, 3D one that I have right here. I don't really use those as much anymore. Um, what else? What else we got? This is just stuff that Superior Products sent, sent me, heavy duty. It's an enzyme cleaner, Purple X, which is a dilutable um, 
iron removal right here. I still haven't used it. It's just little things that they sent me I put on the shelf. These are some of this stuff is not really important. Um, this is actually some smart wax from Chemical Guys. This stuff is actually pretty decent. It doesn't last as long, but if you want to do like a quick enhancement, this stuff will, this stuff will work. Um, this right here is a paint prep. So whatever I'm doing ceramic coatings or anything like that, need to strip it off. I spray that on there. And that actually comes from the same place as this. Now this right here, actually that, that works pretty great. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It flashes and all kind of stuff. It works pretty good. And then one day we'll put this on something. And then that's pretty much it for here. And then over here is my shelf where um, now I use Koshkimi polishes and compounds. Uh, and then I also have some Meguiar's 105, that too, but I don't really like that. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I really don't like it. So I'm thinking about throwing that away. But that's, so that's pretty much it of what I use chemical wise. Um, as y'all can see, I use a lot of superior products just because it's easier for me to just stick with one brand. If it worked for what I needed to work for it, then good. The only thing I don't really use of theirs is their waxes, like the actual paste wax and compounds and polishes. Um, I don't really use that. I use Kosh Kimmy. I use Carpro a little bit. Sometimes Meguiar's 3D. Um, I, I use that and stuff, but um, I even have some Griot's polish up there, but um, I don't use that all the time. But yeah, so for me, it worked. What y'all see me with, it may not work for you. Um, the Superior Product stuff work because I order this stuff, I have an account with O'Reilly's and I, I literally order it online. I don't even have to pay until I get there. And then I wait like a day or two, I go inside the store, I don't have to wait in line or nothing. I go to the back of the store and my stuff is sitting there and I just go ahead and I pay from there. So um, that works out and I can pretty much order whatever I need from O'Reilly's for the superior product stuff. And hey, like stuff like this, this interior dresser, that interior dresser actually does work pretty good and it actually does repel dust or makes it easier. It doesn't stick as much. Um, I guess is the best way of putting it. But if y'all have any questions, pretty fast, long, or short video, I don't know. But if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, I'll try to get back to everybody as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope you have, I had a great day.